Cycling Network. We are here at Turner Beach on Captiva. This is one of our um, one of our favorite beaches to shell on. We didn't shell a lot here last year. They had it uh, closed down for a few different reasons last year. Um, they've been doing a lot of work here. But this is such a fun beach to shell. One of the reasons is because you find different types of shells here than you find on other beaches on the island. So I'm just gonna give you a quick view. Um, it's actually really calm today, but a lot of days it is pretty wavy here. And if you can see, um, it drops off pretty quickly. So a lot of times we do have a nice little break line here that you can shell, um, but it does drop off pretty, pretty quick here. And you won't always see a whole lot on the beach, but I wanted to show you guys that you have to walk sometimes and all of a sudden you'll start to see shell piles forming from the waves, okay? So as you're walking along, all of a sudden you start to see some really cool piles forming and we're gonna take a look in this big shell pile up here. But I just wanna kinda show this little area on our way and tell you guys about some of the popular shells or the common shells that we find here at Turner Beach. So first off is kitten paws. There are kitten paws galore here. So if you're a crafter, if you are looking for kitten paws for a craft project, this is definitely a place where you will find a ton of kitten paws. Also, serifs, right? Serifs are super popular here. Not as much for augers. We do find augers, but not as many. Um, but we do find a ton of serifs. We also um, find turbos here, a lot of scallops. We also find the painted egg cockles, like you'll see right here. Um, so those are just a couple. Oh, here's another really good example of here, the painted egg cockle, really pretty pattern. So those are just a couple examples of shells that are really common to find um, on this beach. So I always say like, you gotta, you gotta look for the shells that you're expected to find on certain beaches, right? So if you wanna find, let's just say you wanna find talons. Um, we do sometimes find talons here, but the best place is gonna be south of Marco um, to find the most variety and the most abundance of that type of shell. You're gonna notice there's not a lot of olives here. There's not a lot of whelks here, but on other areas of Sanibel, you're not gonna find as many turbos um, here's a little turbo. This one's a little bit damaged at the top, kind of a little freak shell. Um, egg cockles and serifs as you are going to on this beach. So keep that in mind. And we're just going to kind of do a little shelling here, working our way up to this shell pile. Here's a little piece of coral. So coral is not super common to find on Sanibel or Captiva. But if you want to find coral, this is going to be the best place to find it on this coast. If you're really wanting to find a ton of coral, go over to the east coast. And that is where you're going to find abundance of coral over there. There's another serif. Lots of scallops. Okay, so we've made our way up to this little pile here that you can see is forming. So. Again, it all depends on the tides and the waves. And there happens to be a little shell shelf here. So as the waves come in, it's gonna push the shells up, push them up, push them up, push them up. I think we are getting ready for a tide change if we haven't already. So the tide is going to be coming in. So the good news is when the tide comes in, sometimes it brings more shells. Sometimes it uncovers shells for us to find. The bad news is sometimes the waves take the shells away. So we wanna go ahead and kind of be quick when we're looking through a pile like this and the waves are coming in to make sure that we can see these shells. Lots of little worm rocks, as I call them, that are kind of fun. They're kind of bright orange. They're kind of funky looking. They're like little rocks that worms make. That's basically what they are. There's a couple more serifs here. Oh my gosh, lots of beautiful serifs. Here's a little turbo hiding cute little turbo. There's a little bubble shell up here. Tons of kitten paws. I mean, I can pick up kitten paws all day long. Um, when I pick up kitten paws, I usually come out just to pick up kitten paws. Here's another turbo bubble shell, some serifs. 
I try to pick up as many serifs as I can when I'm here to stock up for craft projects because I don't always find a lot of them. Here's a conch that just washed in. Oh, and here's an alphabet cone that just rolled in too. Wow, I mean, it's, you know, obviously broken, but the kind of the cool thing about the broken shells, and I don't know if you'll be able to see, but the core of the shell is in here, kind of like this little broken part formed like a window. So you can see the inside of the shell. I think that's pretty cool. So sometimes the broken shells are kind of the most fun to find because you get some type of unique display specimen. Isn't that cool? So neat. Some more serif here. Here's a little piece of coral. Let's see what else you can find in this, in this little pile here. Oh, look! Here's a carrier shell. Look at this. The only other carrier shell I've ever found was on this beach here at Turner. So this is a carrier shell. They're so fun because they don't look like much so if you google some images you'll be able to see them all cleaned up and then you'll also be able to see they actually collect shells that's why they're called carrier shells they collect shells on top you see that these shells are like glued on there they're like on there they're not coming off isn't that so cool awesome find awesome 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 let's see what else we have up here up here a little bit there's a little top here I can't I can't squat down too far or else I'll get I'll get a, a wave up the rear I've learned the hard way a few times here's another big turbo shell here's a pretty little piece of coral I love finding pieces of coral again we don't find a whole lot of coral here but it's kind of a beat up piece of coral at all the little serifs here and they're perfect beautifully colored nice points on them beautiful Let's see what you guys can see two here I'm gonna come back down here and see what else is rolling in Shell piles are so fun. I know a lot of you are fans of shell piles. You just want to plop your chair down right in a pile of shells and sit here and go through them. So many kitten paws. I can't even believe it. Woo! There's another little piece of coral here. There's a cool looking kitten paw. This is like a really big kitten paw. Look at that. Always remember to keep a good shell bag on you. I wear mine either over my shoulder or cross body so I can easily just put my shells right in my bag and I don't have to worry about anything falling out through the holes. I can rinse it before I leave the beach. Woo! Let's see what else we have here. Rinsing all the sand out of your shells before you leave is great because then you don't have to worry about having so much sand in your bag when you get home. So that's always a good thing. Here's another painted egg cockle here. Let me rinse it off. Oh, this is such a good little pile. Here's a little auger. So here's the difference between the auger and the serif. So you guys can see the difference. This is the serif. Let me rinse them off a little bit. Alright, so this is the serif here. And then this is the auger. Augers make great snowman noses for craft projects for Christmas. If you're making, you know, snowmen out of sand dollars or ornaments, you paint that uh, orange and it makes such a cute little nose. For your snowman here's a tiny little turbo look how cute like i said when i'm when i have the opportunity to pick up a lot of the type of shells that i hardly ever find i definitely take that opportunity you never know when you're going to need certain craft shells 
and all of a sudden you can't find them. Oh, look at this little piece of coral. I'm gonna grab this little piece of a true tulip. Look how pretty this would have been. Little piece of a true. guys look how pretty this one is it's almost like a purple reddish purple color look how pretty they come in orange too sometimes you'll get lucky and find a bright orange turbo they're so cool so pretty so again it's not always about finding shells right it's about finding that really amazing example of a shell or a unique example of a shell there's a little tiny little scallop oh my goodness look how cute this little pink scallop is how cute how tiny so there are little teeny tiny shells in here also. There's another little rough scallop right here. Look how cute. And you know it's a rough scallop because the wings are different sizes. So we'll always have one wing is going to be bigger than the other. And plus it's like literally rough if you feel it. I know the waves are kind of loud. They're like crashing behind me. There's another auger, really big auger. Look at that. That is ginormous. Huge. There's another little worm rock. They're kind of cool. They make good little color accents for displays, you know, because sometimes our, if we don't have a lot of color in our shell bowl, it'll give it kind of a pop of that orange color, which is kind of fun. Oh, here's a little cone, little dusky cone right here. a little juvenile conch and here's an Indian boat or a slipper shell. Oh here's another little turbo. These used to be one of my favorite shells to find as a kid. I loved turbo shells. Oh and here's a little Sarah. So this is why we always like check our shells right? We want to make sure that nobody's home. There's a little crab in there. You gonna come out and say hi? Come on. Can you guys see him? He's very cute. So we'll let him go back into the water. We definitely don't want him coming home with us. Here's another little top. Here, pretty little top. Oh, this shell pile is so fun. Here's a little piece of coral. Lots of the little egg cockles too. And here's a little, here's a little piece of coral right here. And then we have a little tiny rose petal talon. You guys see this? How cute? How little and cute this is. Oh my gosh, it's so small. Here is a crotch. Oh, here's a really pretty painted egg cockle here. Another little worm rock here. Gosh, there's 
so many kitten paws, right? I mean, have you ever seen so many kitten paws in your life? Isn't that crazy? This is so the place to find them. We also find uh, flat scallops here too, but because it's so wavy that a lot of times they're not whole, we just find pieces. I would love to find a flat for you guys. So I'm gonna keep my eyes open. There's a little orange scallop here hiding. Look how cute this one is. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Here's a little orange rough scallop. I don't know if you guys would be able to see the texture on how it's actually rough. It actually has ridges on it. And look at this. Look how pretty. A perfect little rough scallop. Can you guys see it? It is so cute. And it's got gorgeous color to it. Look how cute. Oh my goodness. Try to focus. Gorgeous color. another little scallop right here so I could get all up here into the minis and tiny section you guys know that you know I could shell the minis and tinies all day long so up here is gonna be more of where your mini tiny shells are here's a little calico clam little kitten paws here I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see all these little shells You guys see this little limpet? Let me see if I can find it in my, it's right here. I gotta find my finger. Right there, you guys see it? Oh my gosh, it's so small. Right here. Look at this, how cute. And this is why I have a good shell bag because I can throw it right in there and I know that it will get home safe and sound. That is seriously the smallest limpet I think I've ever found in my life. I love the little baby shells, you guys. Okay, let's come back down here. Oh, here's a pretty orange scallop right here. Here's a nice dark serif. Look at that one, that one's really pretty. Here comes the tide. down here washing in with the waves. There's a big auger again. Here's a little turbo here. Another little calico. Oh, and here's a little turbo too. Get down. There's a little turbo right here. And then we've got another little cute little scallop. Another one. Here comes the waves. Bringing us in more shells, uncovering some fun things. And this whole pile could be gone by the time the tide goes back out, or it could be twice as big. So you literally just never know. You never know where the shells are gonna be at where the piles are gonna form. It's kind of, I always say it's kind of like fishing, you know, you could go to a spot one day and fish and, and find so many, catch so many fish, but then the next day you go back and there's like no fish there, right? So shells are the same way. Every day, literally every day, every tide is gonna be different. Every beach is gonna be different. So if you're not finding what you want, either start walking, right? Or go to a different beach or both. But this is a great little shell pile. These waves coming in.
little bittersweet and a beat up one. We do find bittersweets here too. I know that's a favorite of a lot of you. Look at this, another really cute little rough scallop and the little piece of coral here. I'm just in heaven with all these little baby orange scallops. Oh my gosh. I love them. Nice shiny dark little calico. It's another painted. bright orange one there's a beautiful white scallop here's another little baby pink one there's a little baby rose petal talon here oh my goodness so cute Here's a tiny little top. You see it right here? Grab it before the waves come in. Look how cute! It's so tiny. Here's a crosshatch lucene right here. These are really fun to find too and not something we find super common, but I don't know if you'll be able to see the cross hatches on there. Hopefully you guys will be able to kind of see that. And here's another tiny little pink. Look how cute this perfect little pink scallop is. Oh my gosh, I can't even focus, it's so small. Okay, I see it. Ah, so tiny. So everybody is staring at something out here and I'm not really sure what it is so we'll see it could be dolphins or it could be a manatee so the water is really calm and it is still the water is still very warm so it very well could be a manatee and I just see people pointing but I don't really see what they're pointing at all right I think he's right in front the big shadow. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the big shadow, but unfortunately when people try to go close to them, they tend to leave instead of come check out people. But they're right, it's right between those two guys, if you guys can see. Right next to that guy on the right. Yeah, he's pointing to it. They're very curious creatures. They won't hurt you, but they're very curious. It is illegal to touch them, so if you do happen to get up oh, there, he is coming up. If you do happen to um, have one swim up to you, just don't don't reach out and touch them. Um, <laughs> How fun! There you go. Could be a mom and a calf too. Trying to zoom in a little bit more for you guys. It's always a fun, a fun sight to be able to see wildlife here. So fun. All right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this super fun and exciting episode of the Virtual Shelly Network. So I just want to show you real quick before I sign off that right here, there's not a whole lot on the beach, right? There's no rock line. There's really no shells. You don't really see anything at all. You're kind of like, man, there's no shells. So what do you do? You gotta walk, right? You gotta start walking. 
and then all of a sudden you're gonna start to see a rack line form and this was our shell pile that we shelled in. So the shells are not just all over the beach all of the time. Sometimes you have to go to a different beach or sometimes you have to walk to a different part of the beach. But what's really fun is that once you're walking, all of a sudden, look, you start to see a little bit of a rock line form, right? And then all of a sudden you start to see shell piles. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you learned something new. I hope you got to discover shells that maybe you have never seen before. Um, I always enjoy you guys shelling along with me. I appreciate you guys subscribing and being members of the Virtual Shelling Network. If you have any questions, comments, requests, or feedback, you're welcome to reach out to me directly at virtualshelling at gmail.com. Until next time, I'm Laura Manson signing off, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.